Red Maw. It's just an old thunder job. Man. About time. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no... Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant a, a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Those Banuke are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuke land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. <laughs> if it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Some Asaram girl applied to the city. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. The truth will come out. No shit. Times of trouble, they inspect incoming goods out beyond the Great Bridge. Thank you. 
always the one. Any news about my stolen sword? Not yet. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Stirring up tensions. Ah, I couldn't imagine living in this. Machines or bandits try to get past me, they'll have a fight. Mark my words. Disorderly conduct last night. These damn Osaram stirring up tensions. I'm keeping my eyes open. Save these for the trail.
Calm, calm. That's it. I'm already gone. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary, I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh, yeah. Chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, no, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said, No, that's just stupid. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. You've been using explosives? Sure. To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were... Torn apart, not blown up. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. Oh, you're in for it. Treat. It's quite a show. I prefer the one that comes to the merchant's order. Yeah. I've seen this four times already.
fascinating. They weren't looking for me. I got a broadhead here! You'll do. This is what you intend, to bring these ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise! will destroy us all! They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were... Ah! 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 Stop working. Search the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Aloy. You left me no choice. Who is this? An interested party. Now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this? Just stay out of their way for now. Deal with 
signal. Make a move. Help us on the way. Come on, gang, fight back! Look what I found! Damn you all! God, I found this. Everything's sharp and moving in the rain. <sighs> Should have brought a cart.
for these we'll keep. All already. I'm gonna get you out. Hold You'll on. Feel this I'll one. get you out. Seeker, may I speak with you? I'm honored. I... all mother be praised. Are you alright? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. They would steal from us chase us through the night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you describe. I hope to be. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. 
But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. I convinced them to speak. I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to die out here. An intelligent approach. We are all outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. This camp we once hated could serve us well now. Would you let us stay here, even if it flies in the face of the Matriarch's laws? Of course, by all means. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say so. You... you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. We're settling in. I never thought I'd get anything of use from the bandits. I should be on my way. Thank you for making this possible. Feels good, doesn't it? Hold it inside you one last breath. Then let it out. Ugh. I didn't find your partner. They killed him. I hardly feel surprised. He was already getting cocky when we carved through the last band of camp. I thought he and I were to me. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle. Just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Worst dozen. You're not just a traveler. That armor was fitted for you, and the way you hold your bow. I said a concerned traveler. I was a soldier, but I was a soldier longer than there was a war to fall. Where the arrowhead passes between armor and skin, that's the place I want. So I make opportunities to find it. That's why I'm coming home. Have you ever thought about hunting machines? No, well, they don't get that look in their eyes. Did bandits wrong you somehow? They wrong us all. They live filthy lives, so they have to die that way too. So you hunt them down to help others? No, no. For sport. I can't wait for wars anymore. Life's too short and the thrill of death too sharp. If you kill a tribesman, they'll be retribution. Under boar, they complain if you waste the meat. But bandits, they're vicious. They always put up a fight, and no one cares if you kill them. I guess you're doing the right thing for the wrong reason. I'm doing what I love. And what could be wrong with that? We're done here. Here? I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll need again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by the
difference. War Chief Sona, you're reinforcing Mother's Crown? If the Nora are to weather another attack by the Metal Devil, we must brace our defenses. Still, the concern is not yours. You're not mine to command. You can still ask, War Chief. Very well. We need to harvest lance horns. They carry chill water, and their lenses have many uses also. I have chill water now. Good. Our ice and fire will stay buff the machines. That leaves the matter of a lancehorn lands. There's hunting to the west of here. I also need the watchtowers stocked with signal arrows. Take these to Orn's Tower in the south. If you would. It hurts now, but I'm all the wiser for it.
now. You're Orn? Aren't you a little young to be a sentinel? <laughs> you can talk. Fair. The war chief had me bring you these fire arrows. Send up a signal the moment you see anything suspicious, all right? I know, I know. I'm young, not stupid. If they come back... Just be safe. The trip down's the best part. I'll keep watch. Not much else to do up here. It's a machine I can't override. Not until I've learned more.
back to your business. It's the Seeker. I'm preoccupied. My brother is ill. I have nowhere to be for the rest of the day. Mother bless you, Seeker. I can't wait for festival times when we all come together again. Goddess bless me, she looks like a proper Nora these days. I brought you the Lancehorn lens, Sona. I'll make a weapon with this myself. No warrior should forget the feel of craft. And you brought the signal arrows to warn? I did. Kind of hope he never has to use them, though. We stand agreed. It is a poor war chief who has a craving for war. For now, all I ask of our braves is that they are ready. I thank you for your aid. Should all mother chest us with another storm, we will not bend to it. May you find what you seek in the tainted lands, and return. <laughs> <laughs> 